Hi guys, it's Kenzie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to get your splits. So I'm going to show you guys a lot of stretches that you can do to get your right and left split and also your middle split as well. So my method is a five step method and it's kind of just a theory at this point because I've had my splits since I was really young so I haven't tried this on myself but it kind of just makes sense in my head and this is how I kind of stretch what I need to work on. And a little disclaimer, um, if you are very, very, very far away from getting your splits, it'll take more than a week. Also guys, if you are interested, I have merch and I also have my own dancewear brand. So if you guys want to check that out, the link will be down in the description box. So let's move on to my method. So I have five steps, as I said. Let's go to step one, which is warm up. which is one of the most important steps on this. So the reason it is so important to warm up is because when you warm up those muscles, I would say especially warm up the muscles that you are going to be stretching. You're increasing the blood flow to your muscles and you're allowing just everything to get a little bit looser, a little bit less stiff and rigid. Because when you stretch when you're cold, you could get a lot of injuries and yeah, it's just, you won't overall get a better stretch. So it's really, really important to warm up. You'll get a better stretch overall if you do warm up like really, really well. Okay, so the second step is timed stretches. What I mean by this is to time yourself while you stretch. Um, if you are new, uh, a beginner at stretching or getting your splits, I would say whatever is comfortable for you. So 10 to 15 seconds if it hurts really, really bad. Um, if you're a little bit more advanced, I would say 30 seconds. For me, I sometimes will stretch it for like a minute or two, but honestly, you're really only supposed to stretch your muscles for 30 seconds because um, more than that, you could really tear more than you should because as you stretch, your muscles create little micro tears and that's how it um, lengthens. Um, obviously, they come back together, but that is how your muscles lengthen. Um, so more than 30 seconds. Um, if you feel comfortable and it doesn't hurt, then you can probably stay there for longer. If it does hurt or just like you can feel a really strong stretch, I would say 30 seconds to 45 seconds is the max. Because I know it's really, really tempting to just stay there for so long and think that it's really good. But honestly, it might not always give you the best results if you stay in the position for a really long time. Okay, so the first stretch you're going to start out with is a runner stretch, and this is going to stretch your hip flexor, which is obviously really important for your back leg in your split. Okay, so then from your runner stretch, you're going to put your knee down and then pull your foot in closer, and this will stretch a lot more of your hip flexor and your quad. Okay, and then from that, you're going to pike up into like this fourth position little thingy. And this is my favorite stretch for your hamstrings because stretching your hamstrings is very, very important for doing your splits. And then we're going to do a little split in the air. And this is obviously really, really helpful because you're doing like a split, basically. Um, you can walk your hands forward or outwards, whatever feels more comfortable. And you can also pulse the leg that's up in the air to get an even better stretch. And then of course we're going to do our splits and you can do an over split, put some yoga blocks on your front foot and do an over split if you already have your split. Okay, so this one's kind of hard. Um, if you want to do this one, you can, but you definitely don't have to. But you're basically just going to put your leg on the wall and do a split on the wall. Um, it's just really hard to get leverage, but yeah. And then also, I really like this one. This one's probably my favorite. You just put your leg on the wall, but... You're going to be like your hands are going to be on the floor and this you have tons of leverage to push like your legs even further. 
and now we're moving on to our middle split stretches so these are just groin stretches so like the your inner thigh stretches which i think are pretty basic and i know doing batmas really really helps my inner thigh flexibility so that's what i'm doing here so with this stretch Unless you're really, really flexible, be careful not to whack your legs out. Let them just fall so you don't overstretch and pull something. But this one's really good for strengthening your inner thigh and also stretching at the same time. So I really, really, really like this one. So holding onto your feet in both of these poses really, really help get your leverage and really get that good stretch in your inner thighs for your middle splits. And then, of course, we're going to do the middle split, which um, is kind of painful. So, yeah. Okay, so step number three is to roll out your muscles. So this is really important for recovery, basically. Um, rolling out, doing a little cool down, taking a bath, I don't know, just anything to recover your muscles. Um, I like rolling out because it just relaxes the muscle. Um, I think honestly overall if you're relaxing the muscle it'll allow it to like lengthen easier to stretch easier um you'll probably be less sore if you do experience that so and step four is consistency. And this is the most important aspect to getting your splits. Consistency means doing this every single day. Or if you're new, um, I would say every other day, no later than that because you won't see any results really. So every day I recommend stretching. And again, these are only like 30 second stretches. With the warm up and the stretches, in the cool down, honestly, you'll probably be stretching for th 30 minutes to an hour, maybe, um, depending on how much you do. If you don't stretch consistently, you will not get consistent results because your muscles need that everyday stretch to actually stretch, especially if you're over the age of like 13 or past puberty, basically. Um, it's gonna be super duper hard for your muscles to stretch. I know because I, the reason why I don't stretch every day is because my muscles just don't stretch because I don't something to do with like after puberty I swear like your muscles just don't for me they just don't get any more flexible so um, sh I didn't say that I didn't stretch every day okay so step number five is to maintain your splits So if you've had your splits for a really long time, honestly, you could stretch them for, I don't know, like once a week, um, once a month, honestly. I feel like I could go months and months without stretching and still have my splits. Um, but just maintaining that flexibility after you've gotten it, I would say to keep stretching every day. And if you don't feel like doing that, then you can wean off of it like every other day. But if you feel like your muscles are getting less flexible doing that, then keep doing it every day. Um, but over time, your muscles should really just stay at that length, <laughs> hopefully. But yeah, honestly, just maintaining it is really important because we don't want to get our splits and then just not have our splits again because that just defeats the whole purpose. And it's really sad, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope this really, really helped you guys. I've, I know I've gotten a lot of comments asking me how to get the splits and stuff. So I hope you guys like this and it helped you out a lot. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe and join the fam. And also give this video a thumbs up if you want. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Stay confident. Bye. So I have five steps, as I said, so uh, let's, oh, if you have your, if you've had,